I've been using the Ergo Sum a lot, it's pretty fun. And I also got the Catalyst, which is really good. Dealing damage with a Transcendent Grenade grants Ergo Sum ammo. If you don't have this, I do recommend getting it. So we're just going to get straight into the build. Starting with the subclass, the super. You're going to want to have a super that matches your Ergo Sum's element. I say this because... I am using the Spirit of Harmony on my class item. You could also just run Mantle of Battle Harmony as well. The reason I'm using this is because they did buff it by removing the cooldown for the perk activating. And we have Phoenix Dive, Arcane Needle, and Storm Grenade. The reason we're using Storm Grenade is to jolt targets as well as amplify ourselves. Next we have Weaver's Call for the Aspect so we can build up Darkness Energy and feed the Void for Devour. Now for our Fragments, Facet of Dominance, so our Storm Grenade Jolts, Facet of Sacrifice, having a light buff like Amplify will make our Ability Final Blows grant a little bit of Darkness Transcendence Energy. Facet of Balance, Light Kills grant Melee, Darkness Kills grant Grenade. Facet of Protection for a little bit of damage resist. And Facet of Awakening to create elemental pickups. Now if you're using a solar ergo sum like I am, you will make fire sprites. So that will grant you grenade energy. Which is pretty important since you do want to be amplified as much as possible. And the reason for that is Galvanic Armor which is on the artifact. Being amplified gives you damage resist. Now looking at the other artifact mods... Overload Sword and Blade Stamina, since we are using a sword. Threaded Blast, destroying a Tango with a Strand Weapon, makes it stronger. Then we have Radiant Orbs, or Radiant Shield Crush, to make our abilities stronger and recharge faster. And Transference, Grenade and Melee are stronger while Transcendent, and getting kills while Transcendent, refund Light and Dark to 50%. Here I am running a strand submachine gun, and any heavy weapon is fine. Now here are the mods. Of course we are building into resilience and recovery. We have siphon mods matching our weapons, harmonic siphon. For the ergo sum, strand siphon for our strand weapon. And then we have fire power to create orbs, and grenade kickstart so we can use our grenade more often. Resist mods on the chest piece, and the other mods are so we can get our abilities faster. And we do have better already here, for a little bit extra survivability. The way this build works, you're going to want to proc devour by getting a kill with your abilities, and then killing as many enemies as you can with the ergo sum. It will give you super energy as well as transcendence energy. And keep in mind that you do have access to your abilities. Storm Grenade will amplify you, giving you damage resist, as well as Jolt Overload Champions, if you need. And then we do have Arcane Needle. You will have to swap to another weapon to use it. It will create a Tangle. Shooting the Tangle with your Strand Weapon will build up a pretty good amount of Darkness Energy. Try to get Transcendence as quick as possible. Once you pop it, you will have pretty good damage resist. Ergo Sum will do a lot of damage. And your grenade will give your Ergo Sum ammo. Looks like it will give at most 12 ammo back, which is pretty good considering Ergo Sum does not have a lot of ammo. One Ergo Sum that I recommend is the Arc Conductor Ergo Sum. Powered Heavy Attacks resist arc damage. And chain lightning to nearby targets. Insane amounts of ad clear. And it does give you amplified. This build might not be the go-to for higher end content. But I will definitely be using this for the raid. But yeah, other than that, if you want to use Ergo Sum, this is in my opinion the best build you could do with it. That's pretty much the whole build. Dim link is in the description. Like and subscribe.